Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in VMware Workstation. First, I will download Kali Linux. As Linux is a free software, I can simply Google from the first link, which points to kali.org. I will download. I'll download the installer image. So I select this one and then 64 bit download and I will click on the download button. So I save the ISO image. While the download is in progress, I will create a new virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So I start VMware Workstation. From file menu, I will select new virtual machine, select custom and go next. And then for hardware compatibility, select workstation 16.x and go next. And I'll select the option I will install the operating system later as my ISO file download is still in progress. So I'll go next. And then from this, select guest operating system menu option. I'll select Linux. And from the version, I will scroll down. Kali Linux is not listed in the versions. So I will select the option other Linux kernel 64 bit and go next. I will give a name. And then browse for a folder. I'll create a new folder here. And select the new folder, click OK, and then go next. I'll keep two processor dual core. So four processors essentially. And then I will increase the amount of memory as four gigabyte and go next. I will keep the default setting net. This will allow me to access internet. I can also use bridge networking to access internet and go next. And then I will keep the IO controller type as the default and go next. Also tix type default and go next. I will create a new virtual disk and go next. I will select 60 gigabyte of hard drive and keep the files as a single file and go next. And then next again and finish. The new virtual machine has been created. Next, I'm gonna wait for the download to complete. And when the download is finished, I'll start installing the operating system. The installer ISO image has been downloaded. So I'm going to mount that ISO image to the CD DVD of the new virtual machine that I created. So I select the new virtual machine, go to the edit virtual machine, and then select CD DVD and select use ISO image file and browse. And from the list of ISO images, I select Kali Linux and open. I'll press OK. Now I will power on the virtual machine. And my VMware workstation has an update for VMware tools. I will install it later. And from the Kali Linux installation options, I will select graphical install. So I will press OK. Here is the option for selecting language. I will select English and continue. And region, I will keep the default and continue. And the keyboard, I will keep the default American English and continue.
here is the name of this machine or host name i will use my name here and continue i will leave the domain name as blank and continue and then for username again i will use my name and continue and and continue again now i have to create a password and continue i will keep the clock as default and continue I'll use the entire disk for this partition and continue and then continue again. All files will be in this same partition and continue and continue again. Here is confirming for partitioning disk because this partition erases all data. The default setting is no. I will select yes and continue. It took some time to finish the previous step where the system extracted all the files and installed. Now it's giving me the option to install Grub Bootloader and I'm gonna install Grub Bootloader. So I go to continue and then select the option yes here and continue. Next, I will select the device that is available instead of selecting the device manually and then continue. The installation is complete. Now it's gonna reboot. So I click on continue to reboot. And then press enter to go to the first menu item or wait a little bit.
Now I log in with the account that I created in the installation process. I'm logged in. The first thing I would do after finishing the installation is update. So I go to the terminal and then I use the update command sudo apt update. And then I will use the upgrade command. And press Y on the keyboard. It is going to take some time to finish this upgrade. As you have noticed that the screen got a full screen on my VMware workstation window, the latest version of Kali Linux installs the open VM tools when installing the operating system. So you do not need to install VM tools separately. All the downloaded packages were unpacked and upgraded. Now I can remove some of the packages that I would not need. To do that, I will use sudo apt auto remove and answer y for all prompts. Okay, so I have finished all the necessary steps to install Kali Linux in VMware Workstation. And that is the end of this video. I hope the video was helpful. If you want to get notifications of future videos, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.